Thank you, Canon Medical, for asking me to speak at this event. And thank you to the audience for taking the time to join me in this symposium. I hope you can all see my screen. I would like to share with you how Bradford Teaching Hospitals have used Canon Medical relocatable systems in three different areas over a number of years. Namely, expansion of service in a difficult location, maintaining workflow by providing a temporary cover of service, and more recently, dealing with challenges posed by COVID pandemic. Our story starts with a little history. Our radiology outpatient department is located at St. Luke's Hospital. St. Luke's Hospital was originally built as the Bradford Workhouse Infirmary in 1852. The current radiology department is housed in Block C and D, and these were added in 1860, over 150 years ago. In 2014, Bradford Teaching Hospitals realized that they needed to increase outpatient MR capacity. Being a grade two listed building meant that we could not alter the structure of the building. And asbestos in the basement made it too expensive to strengthen the floors to take the weight of the MR scanner. The solution, therefore, was a relocatable scanner housed in the space between two blocks of the old workhouse building. This has provided a reliable and stable environment for routine outpatient scanning for over six years. Even as we come to the end of this scanner's life and need to consider a new replacement scanner, our building's estate has not changed and neither have the building regulations. We commissioned work to look at strengthening the floor in one of the old blocks, but found that the asbestos lining in the basement would cost over one million pounds to make safe. So it is likely that we will be replacing the MR scanner with another relocatable one, most likely in the very same spot. The second scenario where we have found a relocatable scanner invaluable is when replacing or updating CT scanners at our acute hospital, Bradford Royal Infirmary. We have two CT scanners on site, providing acute services for 800 inpatient beds and a busy a &E department. Any downtime in CT causes a backlog to our inpatient work. As a referral center, our prime SP has been reinstalled three times in the last few years. To maintain workflow over the six weeks or so when exchanging scanners, we decided to provide alternative imaging capacity by commissioning a relocatable scanner. We have designated part of the parking space between our radiology wing and the adjacent accident and emergency block. We installed water and electrical services, and when the time comes, we block off car access and car parking. The engineers delivered the relocatable box at 5 a.m. in the morning on the back of a truck. For this model, no cranes are required as the relocatable has its own legs, which lift it off the truck bed. The truck can drive away and the legs lower the whole box onto leveling blocks at ground level, all within an hour. In 2018, we installed an Aquilon Genesis 320 wide detector scanner using the same relocatable to maintain workflow. However, our greatest need for additional capacity has been during the COVID pandemic. At the beginning of 2020, the COVID pandemic arrived in the NHS. In an attempt to prevent the NHS from being overwhelmed, the British government ordered a lockdown, encouraging people to work from home wherever possible. All unnecessary travel was banned, shops were closed, and the scared public remained at home for the most part. In our hospital, radiology routine imaging was halted. Staff were sent home to protect the workforce. This included radiologists who could remote, uh, report remotely from home, but they also feed up radiology staff to contribute to turning prone patients on intensive care units. We call ourselves the Raptors. As the first wave progressed, our hospital was being rapidly filled with COVID-positive patients, more and more of whom required CT imaging. 
and also in patients who needed CT imaging for other medical reasons. They were found to be increasingly COVID suspected or COVID positive. You may appreciate that in the early era of poor availability for COVID testing, asymptomatic patients had to be kept separate from COVID suspected patients and also from patients who had tested positive or were clinically positive according to the current clinical guidelines. With two CT scanners side by side in the main department, it was increasingly difficult to separate COVID negative green patients from COVID suspected amber patients or COVID positive red patients. Bradford Teaching Hospitals approached Canon Medical to see if we could acquire a relocatable scanner. And thanks to our relationship, we were able to locate a prime SP scanner, which was located in its usual position by mid-April 2020. Located outside in the car parking area, it would be designated the green inpatient scanner, while the indoor scanners were designated red inpatient scanners. As you can see, there is enough room for inpatient trolley or gurney. The newest relocatables are equipped with Aculan Prime SP, complete with ACE technology and cardiac CT capability. This relocatable was installed at ground level with only a small ramp required for trolley access. There was a short 20 meter walk outside from the radiology corridor to the relocatable entrance. So we reconstructed a covered walkway to protect inpatients during transport from the wards. Luckily it was spring and the British weather was not too unkind. It took the Bradford population rather longer than most to clear the virus perhaps related to multiple generations living in one household. Our first wave plateaued for more than two months before showing signs of declining. However, as the year progressed and COVID inpatients reduced, imaging at Bradford hospitals was allowed to return to full working capacity. The previous months had seen us turn off all routine imaging, so we had a tremendous backlog of outpatient work to catch up. Once again, the relocatable came into its own. We repurposed the relocatable for scanning outpatients this time, keeping void outpatients separate from the inpatients. We hired extra staff to scan into the evening and weekends. And with this added capacity, by October 2020, we had caught up with our big backlog, well in advance of many of our neighboring trusts. I call this our catch up phase. Winter is a busy time for the NHS every year. But this year, winter 2020, the NHS decided that we would have to continue business as usual without cancellation of normal activity. The seven Nightingale hospitals dotted around the country had not been used. NHS ITU departments were not overwhelmed as we had feared looking at the expense from other countries. So despite the predicted second wave of COVID, we would be expected to maintain normal outpatient activity, including fast track scanning for suspected cancer and urgent CT scans. And we therefore justified the extension of our contract with Canada Medical for another 10 weeks. The relocatable allowed us to increase capacity for scanning inpatients and outpatients. All this with extra long appointment times to allow for cleaning and to avoid crowding in our limited waiting areas as patients arrive early or have to wait for post-CT contrast observation. This positive CTPA scan in a patient with COVID was acquired on the AT detector Equilon Prime SP using 50 mils of IV contrast reconstructed with the ACE engine and is displayed with noise-free one millimeter axle sections. Happily, we have survived winter and the second wave without collapse. Most of our radiology staff have remained well and we have maintained a full radiology service. As we look forward to the post-vaccination era, we anticipate that patients who have been sitting on pathology will begin to return to see their doctors and require an increase in imaging. We have now had an additional third CT scanner on our acute site for a full year and COVID is likely to mean new ways of working for us. 
in recognition of the need for increased capacity, our chief operating officer has asked us to put together a business case for a fixed third scanner to take us forward in the post-COVID era. I think you can see how we have found the flexibility of a relocatable service to be an essential resource to maintain basic services when faced with limitations of infrastructure. It provides a convenient means for temporary maintenance of web workflow when exchanging CT scanners. But most recently, for the entire year of the COVID pandemic, it has enabled us to maintain a safe service and provide extra catch-up capacity while we look for more permanent solutions in our difficult NHS. Thank you for your attention.